Winning new clients is really difficult. I'll let you into a secret. I've been doing business development and selling for almost 30 years now. And when I think about having to go out and win new clients, even I don't get excited about getting out of bed. Life is a lot easier when people are coming to you. But if people aren't coming to you, how can you grow your business? Easy, right? Because you've already got customers. If you were in a business development role, one of the phrases you'd be really familiar with is share of wallet. And share of wallet is a term you may not be familiar with, but you are definitely victim of. Do you remember 10, 15 years ago when you bought an EasyJet flight, that's all you bought? Sure, they'd get you for a couple of extras, but they didn't try and sell you a car. They didn't try and sell you insurance. They didn't try and sell you a hotel. They didn't try and sell you transfers. But now they do those things, why? Because they know you're gonna buy those things and they want the maximum share of your wallet. They don't even deliver it, they just want their margin for selling someone else's service. When you look at your client list, do you know what proportion of their total finance spend that you get? They may be using other firms, they may be using other types of advisors. Do you know? Because when you write down, well, this company gives me 10 grand a year, but I know they spend 50, there's 40,000 pounds there that you could get access to. The firms that do the best don't just think about how do I retain the clients I've got today, they're always thinking about how do I get more? How do I get a greater share of wallet? Now, there is dangers attached to this. Remember there's rules and regulations and ethical guidelines around uh, picking up work that gives you a conflict of interest. We know the big four get themselves in trouble with this on a regular basis. But being a small, medium-sized practice, it's unlikely you're gonna get caught about things in the same way. So think about all your existing clients and write down not only what they spend with you, but what you think they could spend in a total year on financial services or advisory services. And that's where you should start your business development. Because you will find more than anything else, it will get you excited about contacting that person and finding out how you can help them with the other stuff that they spend money on rather than just what you get at the moment. So good luck working out your share of wallet. My guess is you're gonna find that your clients could more than double your business if they gave you a little bit more of what they spend with other people. It's not an overnight win, but it's about you beginning to talk to them about the different services you offer and the different ways that you could help them and know that if their existing provider doesn't deliver, you're the one that they're gonna call. So good luck and enjoy seeing where your growth is gonna come from over the next couple of years.